Hey guys, my name is Alicia and welcome back to my channel. This is probably getting very poorly filmed so I apologize in advance but I wanted to do this and show you guys some of the stuff that I got from Apcon and uh, I wanted to do it the day after the convention because just to do it while things are fresh in my mind and before I lose all the stuff that I got um, and my normal setup isn't set up so this is just have to do for now um, so this is the artwork for the exhibitor past I was in artist alley this year it was awesome the artwork is by Jenny who I will link down below in my description these are very cute passes and they do have on the back of them just basically some guidelines for etiquette and behavior at the convention which they have every year which is good <laughs> um, one of the super cute things that I got was this cookie cat enamel pin from the Sunday Co which are an Australian brand which is super awesome my friend and table assistant Alyssa bought this for me and it's just so cool such lovely quality that's the information there and you can get an online code for 10% off from their store so use that if you feel, feel like it, go support them. They're awesome, it's super good quality and super cute. The next thing I got is this super cute little Gengar in a terrarium. It's in a clear acrylic poker bowl um, with a little rubber stand and it's sealed shut so it doesn't open. And it's just really cute. There's lots of little shrubbery in here and the Gengar figurine. And this is so awesome. This was made in, uh, in Australia by Jolly Creations handmade Pokemon terrariums. That's the information there if you'd like to go check them out and also their online store if you would like to get one for yourself. I spoke to them, they were super lovely and they do custom orders as well. So if you have a certain Pokemon that you're looking for that they don't have, just send them a message. Um, <laughs> these are just so cute and the fact that they're not real terrariums means that the plants won't die. <laughs> but I'm adding that to my little Gengar collection and I love that so much. One of the next cute little things that I got was also another present from my friend Alyssa and it's this super cute, super soft pink lanyard. I love it so much. I can't remember the name of the artist who did these um, and I don't think I got a business card so I'm really sorry. If you know the artist, please link them down below. I'd love to um, support them. It's just really cute and lovely and it has this little boar baby on there and um, it's really good quality as well. And I put my teal key on there because it's bright and colorful, so it's very unlikely to get lost. So I'll probably use that at each convention, which is nice. As always, I got most of my stuff from Artist Alley because that is where I like to spend my money and who I like to support. One thing I was pretty fortunate to do was actually do an art trade with, um, I can't remember the name of this artist, so I have to look it up and see if I got a business card from them. But this is a Nick Valentine print. It's a Nick Valentine print and it's super awesome, lovely quality and it's digitally painted. I just, oh god, I just really love his facial expression, all the lighting effects and the colours within this. It's so awesome and if you've seen my pin board in my, any of my vlogs or previous videos, you can see that I actually have the Hancock version of this. So I'm glad to have Nick alongside that which means that I can put them together. Oh, here we go. Here's the artist's name, it's Ken Chicky. Next is probably a person I bought the most stuff from just because they had so much stuff that I loved. And her name is Mammoth, so you can see that she has a shop, Facebook, Tumblr, etc. So go check her out on there. And there's also a code to um, get 10% off her store, which has lots of awesome stuff, including enamel pins. I love this print from her. It's basically a very shiny, I don't know if it shows up on here, like a pearlescent print of the last unicorn. Mammoth also has a bunch of vinyl sticker sheets, which are just so awesome. I couldn't pass them up. I wanted to buy more and I would if I could. So I have these Digimon here, which are so cute, super lovely. And it feels like a really good quality as well. These absolutely adorable little fruit bats, um, which Alyssa bought me, so thank you. And they're just, ah, oh, they're so cute. Those of you who know that bats are one of my favorite animals next to hyenas, so I just love that. She also did these very beautiful metallic gold, if I can get a good shot of that. Um, temple Pokemon, which I just saw at first, I was like, oh yes, I love it, it's got three dogs. But then I realized they're Pokemon, so we've got Growlithe, Magikarp, Vulpix, Ninetales, and Arcanine there. 
So I wanted to get a whole bunch of stickers from Avcon to put on my next sketchbook to decorate that nicely. Next we have a beautiful digital art print of Cubimon and I just, oh it's just an aura of this, it's so beautifully painted, the colours are amazing and the composition is simple but just so effective. So I'm saving that for my pin board. Another Digimon print from her and it's Garurumon and again I just love her lineless style and beautiful dramatic lighting effects. Next I have a Sylveon postcard print from Horbury's. You can see her information there so go check her out if you like that. These are actually, I asked her and she said these were watercolour and I was just blown away just how beautiful and simple they are. I also bought a Leafeon but I gave that to Alyssa. Um, I bought a few extra things that aren't going to be in the video because I gave them as presents to friends. <laughs> I of course had to get some more stickers for my sticker collection and sketchbooks. These next ones are from Tsunami Hija, a wonderful Adelaide artist. She is so amazing. Um, these are very cute vinyl stickers of Mojo and so they are actually cats that she's fostered and made into very cute little characters and had the vinyl stickers printed of them. The next is um, a little chibi garnet from Ghost Chicky, aka Ken Chicky. Um, I have a little pasta Nintendo 64 logo, um, Lion, Rose Quartz and those other two stickers there which I just love. They are by Christina Driver or Christina Jane. You can check out her stuff there. So yeah, I'm happy to have more stickers for my collection and just be able to support more artists. It's so hard when you don't have a lot of money to spend yourself and you want to support other artists. One of the best things you can do is buy small things like stickers because every bit counts when you're at a convention, trust me. <laughs> and that means that you can buy something from each artists that you do really like. And here are a whole bunch of business cards that I picked up at the convention. Everyone's beautiful and wonderful artwork on them. I like to get them so that I can actually go through and support artists on their social media and follow them. Even if I can't afford to buy the artwork on the weekend, it's really good to support them. So if you're going to conventions and you don't have the money to support everyone that you want to, you know, just take a business card, follow them on their social media, add to their following. That is a great way to support them reblog their artwork, share it on your Facebook, as long as you credit back to them and the more people that they get following them, you know, the more sales that they can make in the future, the more people that they have supporting their artwork, so yeah. Anyway guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this quick little haul video, I hope you did enjoy it. Um, there was more stuff that I couldn't show because I gave them away as presents to my friends. But just wanted to share some wonderful Adelaide artists with you and yeah, thank you to everyone who I met on the weekend. It was so lovely and one of the best things at convention is meeting new people and just everyone is so wonderful and friendly there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, tune to my next video, but until then, keep drawing. Oh, and I almost completely forgot to show this one, which is a beautifully stenciled and spray painted folder. Like, look at that color and texture, so nice. That um, Tsunami actually gave me, <laughs> um, which is just so wonderful and I love it so much. What a cute sort of galaxy moon cat character. And I'm going to use it for uni next semester. So, oh, it's so precious, I love it. Thank you so much, Tsunami. Tsunami.